Hey mom, hey pops. Dead by Daylight is my favorite video game right now and I want to explain to you why. So Dead by Daylight is a four versus one game where one person is a killer and four people are the survivors. You can either choose to play as one of the four survivors or you could choose to play as the killer. And depending which one you decide to play as, the game is extremely different. So let's focus on the one then. They are the killer. Their goal is to try to kill all of the other four survivors. There's a simple pattern that pretty much all killers follow, which is find a survivor, you chase them, you hit them until they fall over, and then you carry them over to a hook and throw them on it. After throwing them on the hook enough times, or after them being on the hook long enough, they die. Rinse and repeat until you kill everyone. It's pretty simple. The survivors, however, are much different. Their goal is to work on these objects around the map called generators. And once you repair enough of them, you have to open these doors. You can then escape and leave the game, and then you win. So you can already tell based on which side you're playing, the game is extremely different. Now just to give a short clarification one more time if you didn't catch that, the killer finds survivors, chases them, knocks them down, and throws them on hooks until they die. The survivors work on these objects called generators, open these things called gates, and then run out the door. Simple? Alright, hey watch this. So to understand what's actually happening from a lore perspective, basically there's this thing called the Entity. We don't really understand what it is, uh, why it does what it does, but what we do get is that it takes people, you know, good people, bad people, everyone, puts them into this trial and continues to pit them against each other, constantly killing and dying over and over again just to be reborn and do it again. Death is not an escape. So you might be wondering why they just don't get along. You know, why can't they be friends? Why can't they just refuse to kill each other? Short answer is... So you understand the basics of the game now and you've seen some gameplay, but you might be wondering, well, how does this game stay entertaining? And a lot of people actually do ask me that. Like, how am I still interested in the game after having over 800 hours in it? The answer to that question is the chases. The chases between a killer and survivor. They are by far the most entertaining thing in this game, and honestly one of the most entertaining things I've done in a video game, period. Now I could try to explain how chases work, but that would be extremely difficult and I don't think you guys would really get all of it. So I'm going to show you a clip and try to explain it the best I can so that you can try to understand, you know, at least what's going on or why I think it's so entertaining. Who's he? I don't even see you. He's on me. I think you're just humiliating him. I am. Right. So normally I should be hiding from the killer, trying to work on generators, but my friend went down and I'm trying to distract the killer so someone else can save him. Try to do the short lunge. Dude, <laughs> what a gamer. He's coming. So what I did just there was I pretended like I was going to jump through a window. That made the killer try to swing at me, and when he did, I just moved the opposite direction, thus making the killer miss. I'll tell you when I'm ready. I'm not ready yet. My goal is to survive as long as possible. Every second that he's chasing me uh, is another second that my three teammates are healing each other, working on generators, basically, you know, completing the objective so we can all escape. 
So wasting as much of the killer's time as you can is very, very good and useful. I was about to get hit, so I used an ability to dash to the pallet and then throw it down before I did. It's not nearly as impressive as it sounds. I pretend to vault the window, knowing that he's going to try to go around and hit me. When he does, I then just run the opposite direction. Now he's on the outside of the building, I'm in the inside, and I've wasted even more of his time. Where are you at? You in the warehouse? I'm in shock. Oh, okay, I see you. I'm coming. He's on the hill. There he is. The killer always has a red light going in front of where they're looking. He used that to his advantage to make it look like he was coming around the corner when in reality he was waiting for me to jump the window. When I did, he then hit me. Very well played on his part. This is why I love this game so much. It's like chess. I'm constantly trying to read my opponent, guess what decisions he's trying to do, and then act based on those assumptions and he's doing the same thing. It's a constant back and forth of game knowledge and will and it's, it's fun. It's really enjoyable. The best part is, I'm not even good at the game yet. I feel like there's so much more for me to learn, there's so much more for me to understand, and the, the more I practice and the more I play, the more I want to play. And then I do more, and then I play more, and then I play more, and now I have way too many hours in the game. Guys, I play too much video games. <laughs> and, and I'll admit it, I um, have played a lot. And I'm, I'm sorry about that. There was a period of time in my life where all I wanted to do was just play video games. And I was fine with just doing that and giving up on the rest of it. You know, ever having a future, a dream, having anything but a minimal paid job. And uh, throughout that period of time, you guys never really gave up on me. And I, I really just wanted to say thank you. I, I'm going out and I, I'm getting this new job and I'm going to be making a lot more money. I'll be able to, to go above and beyond and, you know, maybe start paying you guys back for the whole college incident. But uh, I, I guess at the end of the day, I, I just wanted to say really, really thank you guys for, for believing in me when, when I didn't. And I promise I'm going to start coming down more often for movie nights. And heck, I you know I'm still gonna play video games and that's cool. Heck, you know I've been I've been streaming, I've been making YouTube videos. One of my YouTube videos has like a hundred views on it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, right? I don't know. This has been fun for me, and it'll always be a part of my life. But it's always going to just be a part of my life. I I won't let it take over. I won't forget about you guys or anything. It it's it's just video games for me at the end of the day now, and. uh yeah. This this I hope this was entertaining for you for you guys. Thank, thanks for watching. Uh, I love you.